Well, greetings from beautiful Phuket. I'm now on the second week of back-to-back -back reviews that started on Langkawi in Malaysia. I flew to Hanoi. I then did two cruises on Halong Bay, back to Hanoi for another two reviews. And now I'm in Phuket for a week for three property reviews. So there are tons of mistakes I've made with vlogging. I launched my first video back in 2011 off my cool pics, you know, my Sony cool pics, this tiny little thing I used to keep in my handbag. So I went to a lot of cocktail parties back then. And it was a hotel review for Taj and I just walked through the hotel room, but no one else was doing it at the time. It was quite innovative back then. My videos are nothing like the quality of the top travel YouTubers and videographers. But over the past year, I've been making a really big effort to try and improve in several areas. One was editing, one was just the videography quality in general. And the third was kind of finding my own style and feeling more comfortable in front of the camera because I was so used to being a blogger and a writer for years that I was always behind the camera telling the story through someone else's eyes, through someone else's voice. I want to share another set of tips. I've already done this once and I shared, you know, kind of how to shoot and, and some other things. I'll put a link to that video down below. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I put out videos generally a couple times a week about the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Southeast Asia. This is something I'm trying to do once a month just to kind of share the mistakes that I've made and the lessons that I've learned to hopefully give someone a, a quicker start at this if that's what you're looking for. So today I want to talk about shooting in public and there's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, the first is when you're shooting your own selfie moments. Like I'm, well right now, this is my Leica. I am currently shooting a time-lapse video of that gorgeous sunset. But I shoot between my Leica V-Lux and my iPhone and my Momax selfie stick. If I'm outdoors and I need to shoot and I need to do a little intro or I want to caption a moment myself, I try to be as respectful as possible. And I've seen YouTube videos with tips and tricks of people saying, oh, just go out there, don't give a shit what people say, be loud, capture what you've got to capture, and just don't worry about it. That is completely wrong. Unless you really have no respect for anyone else around you, that is not the attitude to take. So I generally try and find a quiet corner. I go off a bit further away from everyone, especially if I'm at a five-star hotel or a nice restaurant or just with people who are having a nice time and don't want to be interrupted having to listen to my blah blah blah. So try to be respectful. No, don't try to be respectful. Be respectful because you wouldn't want someone interrupting your personal private moment with their YouTube crap. So try and try and remember that first and foremost. So when I do shoot on my selfie stick as well, um, I use this more when I want to kind of walk around and show people, okay, there's this amazing pool. I've been sat here, I'm now having wine. And I use this more when I want to be dynamic, when there's a bit of like um, excitement I want to convey through taking someone along with me and basically hand-holding the situation. So that's when I would use my selfie stick and that's when I would use my iPhone. <gasps> Shit. Oh my God, I almost dropped my Leica. <gasps> okay. Um, I shop at YL Camera, by the way, in Malaysia. If you're in Malaysia, it's the best place. Um, they have really good deals and I, they don't discount necessarily on the main products but they do kind of on everything else. So if you go in, um, the guys and the girls at YL will basically um, help you pick out what you want and then they'll cut you a deal on everything from memory cards to um, accessories, lenses, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, Not sure if I should be saying that, but they always cut deals. It seems like they always give a good deal when you're in there. So uh, do check out YL Camera. Um, they have an online store as well, and I think they ship all around. So try them out, the prices are insane. My second tip is on shooting in crowds, or night markets, or festivals, or 
you're at the airport or you want to get kind of an ambient uh, or an actual crowd footage reel together for some video that you're doing. Um, I had this come up just this week. I was in Hanoi the night that they beat that the Vietnamese team beat Qatar in China for the AFC U23, I don't know, something like that. I didn't even know that there was a football match going on, but congratulations to them. They did a really awesome job. And I happened to be right downtown in Hanoi at the moment they won the semifinal round. And I was, I was filming at the time and I, I panned over and I saw in this office building, the whole office just going crazy. And then I turned out and people are running out from their homes and from bars and restaurants to go onto the street to rejoice basically. And it was the, like I still, I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it. It was beautiful. It was so exciting. And I was really happy to be there to capture it. So I started filming and then I just started walking around and then all of Hanoi filled up to the point where you couldn't pass with a car or motorbike any longer because it was just chock-a-block full of people and it was amazing. And for me, when I'm doing that, I, I don't ever want to impose on someone. I'll kind of walk around and I'll smile and I'll, I'll make eye contact with people and I try to give a really big smile and I wave and then they generally smile too. I do the same thing at night markets. You know, I, I don't just go in there and kind of impose myself. I, I like I offer a gesture first of a kind, friendly, you know, smile and hi. And that opens people up so much. And to me, I it's the same thing as when you're shooting yourself. I think there's a level of respect that you want to give. Um, I will say sometimes if I'm in quite a posh place or if I'm feeling a little uncomfortable, I'll kind of just, I guess it's kind of contradicting what I've just told you, but I'll hold my camera down and I kind of look through the viewfinder as I'm walking around. Um, so that way it's not like I'm shooting at someone specifically holding it at someone. I'm kind of just, you know, going through like a, an alleyway or, um, you know, in night markets when it's super chock-a-block full of people and you kind of wiggle through. I do that and I, I just, I look down and, but I never hold it still on anyone for too long. So just um, do try to be respectful in all of your vlogging because it will make you as a person feel better. It will make those around you feel more comfortable and you won't dis disrupt anything. Um, in fact, you may enhance situations because people will be curious about you. So I hope this helped a little bit to maybe inspire your style. Um, one last tip, when you are doing your own selfie moments, you try to imagine that the camera, and always look at the camera, never at yourself. You'll see I'm, I've always been looking at you. You, you want to speak as if to a friend, so you want to kind of soften your eyes and um, try to be as relaxed as, relaxed as possible. I think I talked about this in the last video where in the beginning I used to, like I'd have these deer in headlights eyeballs that were just terrible. But all of it over time with practice it fixes itself and you'll improve. So just keep it up. Let me know in the comments if there's a particular video you'd like. I need to start doing some on solo travel as well. Have a wonderful evening. I am going to get back to my wine now. My time lapse video is done. I like it. I love, I love my new baby. Well, not my new baby, it's been about six months now. Anyway, it's the best. So, uh, yeah, have a great, have a great next shoot, whatever you do. And um, please do share your YouTube channel with me down below. I'd be really happy to subscribe back um, and check out your stuff. So, bye guys. Have an awesome night.